Howdy. Today, we will be taking a look at Fans Toys Iceman. And, you know, the more I look at this figure, the more I think it kinda looks like Air Raid from Transformers Generation 1. But that's probably just a coincidence. This figure comes with two blasters and one alternate face sculpt. In his robot mode, Iceman looks absolutely incredible. The paint on this figure is just as I expect from fans' toys. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, as you can tell, he's got quite a bit of a backpack, but I admire Fans Toys' ingenuity for using the stabilizers to make it look like he has a full-size jet sitting on his back, but in reality, the real wings of this F-15 Eagle mode are actually tucked in between his back and this massive nose cone. Still, I think this figure looks really good. My only problems with it are the articulation, because he has all of these pointy bits and massive wings sticking off of him, the articulation isn't exactly the best. The arms only bend to about 90 degrees, the legs aren't amazing, the ankles don't move forward or back, the ankle tilts are dreadfully small, and there's basically no waist articulation. Technically there is, but you have to completely disassemble the backpack to access it, so I don't think that counts. This figure looks great, but the articulation is definitely not that good. Here's how Fans Toys Iceman scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's how Fans Toys Iceman scales with Fans Toys Warthog, Fans Toys Phantasm, and Magic Square Light of Peace. In his vehicle mode, Iceman is a McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. In his F-15 Eagle mode, I think Iceman looks amazing. The wheels roll and it gives it plenty of ground clearance so that you can roll this flying vehicle on the ground. Otherwise, I think the paint apps are amazing. I love the paint details that they added to the wings, and I love the fluidity of the top of this jet mode. That being said, the underside still looks a bit like a robot has been strapped to the underside of a jet, but I think the top looks very, very good. Now, this transformation is not the easiest, but it's definitely not the hardest I've ever done either. It's very panel-y, and there are some parts where you feel like you have to flex certain panels past others, which is less than comforting, but it does work, and I think it's fun after a couple transformations. Here's how Fans Toys Iceman scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Art Fire, and Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. Here's how Fans Toys Iceman scales with Fans Toys Phantasm and Fans Toys Warthog. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Fans Toys Iceman. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo, reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time!